Welcome back, my dudes. You can tell by where we're standing today. Today, we're going fishing. As always, don't have a lot of time. Let's get into it. Part one is going to be the gear. You're going to be looking to create the studded hide. That is plus 10% for fishing efficiency. You're going to be looking for the fishing overalls for another 12% fishing efficiency. You're going to look for the angler boots, which is another 20% fishing efficiency. As in the first two videos, you're going to be looking to create the dawn stopwatch for that plus 2% skill AFK gain and 1% skill efficiency. Again, a good early mid game ring is that serrated rex ring. Again, you can get the base item from dungeons, find the recipe, and then created the upgraded rex ring. Only difference is there's also a necklace for fishing. You're going to be looking to either get the beginner pendant, which is going to be from dungeon, which is the fish head pendant. That's going to give you a plus 15% fishing XP gain, as well as a 15 purple depth. If you can kill Snellbees, a 1 in 500,000 drop is the Fushimatia. Did not pronounce that right, but it gives you a plus 30 purple depth. You're going to look to create the best, best rod that you can create. For me, that is Dementia for the extra fishing power. Part 2 is going to be your food, potions, and your cards. You're going to look to create the Slurpin Herm. That's going to increase your fishing speed by 39.8%. You're going to look to get as many golden ribs as you can. With my stack of 1,055, that increases my fishing efficiency by 24.8%. And if you do require a little bit extra skill XP, you're going to be looking to get golden hams. That increases skill XP earned from all skills by at 885, a solid 10.7%. Going over into cards, as in all the other builds, you're going to be looking to get as many of the normal Amarok as you can for that 12% skill AFK gain rate. Then we're going to come up to the Hermit Can at max level. That's going to give you 25% total uh, fishing efficiency. If you can get it higher than mine, you're going to look for the Bloach. That's for a percent fishing away gain. Coming down again from trapping, you're going to look to get the bunny. That is another 5% skill AFK gain rate at max level. Then you're going to look for the. Let me find it. You're going to look for the skeleton fish. At two stars, that's going to give you 24% total skilling efficiency. I'm sorry, fishing efficiency. Then we're going to look for the shark at max level. That's going to give you 20% fishing speed. And since there aren't any cards that I have unlocked right now that increases it, we're not going to take the Manta Ray for the fishing XP because we're trying to get as big of a sample as possible. We're instead going to take the Octodar for the 60 base strength. And last but not least, you're going to get the Chaotic Troll for that 50% all skill efficiency. Again, because we are going to put a chip from the lab in here, Amrock should be in the top left and the Chaotic Troll should be in the bottom right. Part 3 is going to be your Miscellaneous Equips. As in all the other builds, if you if this is a pay to play, you're going to get the Gift Miss Snoozy Cat for that 10% all AFK gain. You're going to get the Angel Wings for that 11% all AFK gain. And we're still using the Blunder Hero. If you're capable of finding two trinkets that boost strength or all stats, you're going to try and put those on as well. Part 4 is going to be your Alchemy. You're going to look for the first bubble, Roid Ragin. Again, you're going to look for that base total uh, strength. Here at level 87, giving me 87 total strength. You're going to look for the second bubble, which is all orange passive bubbles, which are the smaller size one. They're going to give you a X higher bonus to your warrior base classes. Coming on up here, if you're still looking for mining and fishing XP gain, you're going to want to invest in really smart. We're going to go to the sploosh sploosh talent at level 39. That's giving me an 82%. Uh, multi-fishing chance and my max multi-fish chance is now 300 instead of that 100 percent you're going to look to strong tools at level 40 that's giving me a 23.6 more skilling power for my pickaxes and fishing rods coming up you're going to look for the buff boy talent that's just giving you more talent points to be able to flush out the rest of your build molt orange which is the following orange bubbles give at my level of 25 a 1.64x higher bonus than what they display. And la second to last is Dream of Iron Fish, which is a 0.39% mining and fishing AFK gain rate. 
I can't level this up because I have not unlocked Twine yet. And last, you're going to look for the Shimmeron because that's going to give you a plus 195% gold food effect. Part 5 is going to be your talents. You're going to try to get Fist of Rage as high up as humanly possible. Brute Efficiency for that total efficiency. Idle Skilling for that AFK gain rate. In the bar, I'm sorry, the Warrior tab, you're going to focus on Firmly Grasp it because that's going to give us a base 120 strength for 28 minutes. You're going to look for Absolute Unit for that 105 base strength. You're going to get Hungry for Gold for the Golden Food bonuses increased by 31% because we are using Golden Food for this build. If you're still trying to level up your uh, fishing, you're going to put points into Temptuous Emotions only if you have those extra points. In the Barbarian tab, we're going to max out Warming Undercover. We're going to max out Bob and Bobbers for the extra plus one fishing power per point of your high score. We're going to max out Catching Some Zs for the plus at uh, level 156, a 14.4% away gain. Then we're going to come on up to Strength Some More for extra max talent level for the Fist of Rage. And whatever we have left, we're going to put into the Strongest Statues for the Ocean Man Statue. <clears throat> If you have a Blood Berserker, you might have to respec if you're trying to go for fishing gains because this will probably be your cooking class as well. But essentially, you're going to put the points that you do have into skill strengthen. So that gives me a 34% larger impact on my skill efficiency and a nice flat 53% I'm sorry, 53 strength. Overblown testosterone, you're going to try and max that out as much as possible because it's giving us a percent strength and another 104 max levels for the Fist of Rage. And then you're trying to hit one of those base level of 20s for the symbol of beyond because at my level that's going to give us plus five for all levels all skills that are higher than level one in the star talents we're going to max out whatever the highest level of our character is so for me this will be level 30 because my highest level character is 300. for TikTok, you're going to try and level up that as much as humanly possible at level 56 that's giving me a 4.1 i'm sorry 4.23 percent away gain Toilet paper postage for the 1.x higher bonus of all skill efficiency stamps. You're going to come over and max out printer sampling, super source, and action frenzy. Part 6 is going to be the post office. You're going to put as many points as you possibly can into the sealed fish heads. Fish heads. At my max level of 400, that's giving me 33% fishing efficiency, a 29% prowess effect, and a 9.5% fishing AFK gain. Whatever we have left, we're going to put into the Myriad Crates for an 18 base all stat, 41 base all efficiency, and just a little bit more XP. Part 7 is going to be Prayers, and it's going to mock the other two builds. We're going to put Skill Dimwit for that extra skill efficiency, because we want to get as high of a sample as possible, while not caring about the skill XP gain minus. We're also going to put the Royal Sampler for a 20% 3D printer sample size, and again, not worrying about the all XP gain. Part 8 is going to be the Merit Shop. Highest importance is going to be the third talent down, which is the 0.5% printer sample size per purchase at 10. That's going to give us 5% printer sample size. Coming up one, we're going to try and max out our level of talent books from the talent book library. That gives us a higher skill, gives us more bonuses. For the top one, you can fit all the food that we are using in this build normally. If you do have those points left over, I would recommend just putting them into here as well. Part 9 is going to be the Salt Lick. As always, the first one that you have unlocked is the most important. At max level, that's going to say that the samples taken for the 3D printer are 10% bigger. We're also going to come all the way to the bottom. That is max level for the talent books from the library, and that's just so you can have higher skills. Part 10 is going to be your cooking, also your laboratory. We're going to try and get our corn as high up as possible at level 22. That's giving me a 44% skill efficiency. Scrolling down. You're going to be looking for, let me see if I can't find it, the rice ball. At level 11, that's giving me another 33% skill efficiency. And then you're going to be looking for the leak at level 12, that's giving me 24% skilling prowess. And last but not least, we're going to be looking for the fortune cookie, just so we can get the library checkout speed even faster. In the lab, you're going to come over to the certified stamp book. And again, that says all stamps except for the miscellaneous tab stamps give double the bonus, so that's all of our skill stamps as well as my first chemistry set, 
All vials in alchemy give double the bonus. The bonus description will, will reflect this doubling. Coming into the console on what chips I have equipped, that is going to be your 15% skill AFK, 20% in all skill efficiency, 20% all skill, 20% all skill, and then near the bottom, we're going to equip the double bonus of the card equipped in the bottom right slot and double the bonus in the top left slot. Part 11 is going to be your star signs. You're going to go for the Pi C's, which is plus 5% fish and efficiency. You're going to look for the 2% skill AFK gain. And then in the Hydron section, you're going to look for Comatose Major, which is plus 4% skill AFK gain. A quick correction to the lab post editing. You're going to go for 15% skill AFK gain, 20%, 20%, double your star sign, and then the same two cards near the bottom for the double top left and double bottom right. Part 12, putting it all together, is going to be our before and after snapshot. So our before for goldfish is 3.9k an hour. For the skeletfish is 359 an hour. For the hermit cans, that's 1.67k an hour and our bloaches are 244 an hour. And we have one spot left open, that's gonna be for Kraken. All right, boys, welcome back to the docks. So fishing is a little more technical than both chopping and mining. So essentially you're trying to find, depending on what fish you're going after, the best combination of both a lure and a line. So for what we're going after first, which is going to be our goldfish, which is in the um, green section, I find that the Crash box and it's a boy is going to give me the highest green percentage. And then the second thing you have to look after is if we go into our AFK settings, you can see that my green depth is at 58%, which is great for goldfish. But when you look at the next pool, it's 45%. So I did do the research beforehand. The best pool for goldfish is the first pool once you come in. So with that being said, I'm going to get us set up for the samples and we're going to jump into it. So first fish that's going to be coming up is our goldfish. Again, just to recap, not all pools are created equal. So do be looking at the depth of which fish you're going after. Adjust both your lure and your line accordingly, and then do test all the pools. So I will be showing you which ones are the best for the specific fish I'm going after. And then if you want to go for a different fish that's not on this list, you do have to do that little bit of research, okay? So first things we're going to do is buff up. We're going to tag the pool. And then our before for goldfish was 3.9 thousand. And with our stats that we have them right now, which is 4,224 an hour with an AFK gain rate of 173%. Quantity per drop is at 28. And we do have this up as high as we possibly can. Our new from 3.9K to... And again, you're, you might have to scroll through all of them. So that was the bloaches. We're looking for goldfish. 47,560. So we went from 3.9 to 45,000. Our second fish is Hermicans. So we're going to be looking for the highest yellow depth that we can find. So we're looking at 31 is the highest. Okay. So I saw a 31 somewhere. 31. Then we're going to switch over to our lines. So we're looking at 32% is going to be our best. Let me find us the best pool. Okay. I have found the best pool for Hermit Can specifically, which again is in the yellow section. So if we look at our AFK, since we're going for Hermit Cans, we're looking at a 43% in the second pool. So if you are going for Hermit Cans, again, you're going to look for the second pool. So as you can see, the goldfish is much lower because this pool is lower in goldfish. And we're at 31,541, up from 1.67K. Next up, we're going to be looking for bloaches, which are in the red depth. So what we're going to do is we're going to find the highest red depth. So I saw a 14. There is an 18%. 15, okay. So this would be the best for us. Then we're going to go to the twine. So there is a 20%. The best one that we have is the 20%. And now I'm going to find us the best pool. All right, boys, I have found us the best pool. So you're going to be looking at map two, pool one. 
that gives us a 22 percent for that pool depth so again that's going to be map two pool one and we're going to go for bloaches which are at 244 right now let's see what we can't get here and you do have to scroll through so we went from 244 to 4802 okay boys our second to last fish is going to be the skelly fish that is in the green so we're going to be looking for the highest green that we can get which i think is going to be 57 as of right now it is so we're going to take that come over to our twine try to give okay so we're at 58 and 59 so massless unit and it's a boy for going for skelly fish all right the medium fish are just the same as the small fish so all the pools will have different percentages the best pool if you're going for skelly fish is in the middle so that's map three pool two you're going to look at it that gets us a 57 for the uh, green zone so let's see what we can do here so we were starting with 359 skelly fish and you will have to click through until you can get the correct one which might take a second boys so I'm gonna bring you back when we get the skelly fish alright boys so we were able to get 4722 an hour up from 359 all right, my dudes, the last fish we're looking for is going to be the Kraken. So we're trying to maximize that purple depth. So with the best that I have, which is the Pound of Steel and the Golden Twine, we're up to get, able to get that to 9.9%. .9%. So we're going to find the best pool for the Kraken. So this one is going to give us a solid 10. Middle pool is going to give us a 9.9. .9. And the first pool is going to give us a 8.4. So we're going to go with the best pool, which is all the way to the left. That's giving us a 10. And I'll bring you back when we finally get the Kraken. All right, that was actually the first cast. We're able to get 826 Kraken an hour. So hopefully this video did help you boys. It's a little bit different than the other two videos because there is a lot more technical aspects such as changing your, your lures, changing your, you know, your lines, stuff like that, making sure you can find the best pool. Um, the Eidolon Wiki is a great resource just to see what depth that fish is. But we made some really good gains today, boys. Um, hopefully this video does help you. If you'd like to see part four, which is going to be a small crafting slash smithing guide, make sure you guys are doing the same thing that you've done on every video. Uh, if it helps you, like the video, uh, comment any tips that you have, and subscribe. But that's going to do it for me today, boys. Hopefully you have a good one, and I'll catch you in the next one.